Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous house type by Taylor Wimpy. We are in Stratford-upon-Avon in the Midlands and this house type is called the Ransford. It's a gorgeous four bedroom property and approximately on sale for £645,000 and the square footage of the property is approximately 1,600 square feet. If that sounds interesting to you and you like what you're seeing behind, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. All right. Hi, welcome home and come inside. Okay, right, so wheezing right through, we're going to go straight into the hallway. We're now in the hallway. I can see this lovely plank style flooring um, in kind of a wood effect. I love the colouring of it. The actual size and proportions of the hallway are quite spacious actually. As you can see, you've got a large front door and two glass panes either side and I love the fact that they're obscure which means that it's nice and private in here and then there's like another panel there bringing in lots of light into this hallway right follow through we're gonna go whizzing straight through the first room you're gonna notice is this one here staged as a study home office it's got a window face in the front of the property and it's a very large window actually and then obviously radiators throughout the whole entire property it's got a mini door actually behind here and a glass door leading so as i close this obviously you can still hear me over the microphone there's a door behind here where your consumer unit lives we don't need to show you that that's pretty much all the boring stuff it's very small cupboard take my word for it so looking round, we're going to go back this way and look at the front room which is here and isn't this a fantastic size for this front room with actually i was going to say dual aspect it's got triple aspects front of the property back of the property and side of the property in this fantastic window seat here. So yes, so this is your front formal lounge. I love the proportions of it. It's a rectangular shaped room with space, space for you to have like a two seat sofa there, another two seat sofa there, and maybe like an L shaped sofa, another armchair over there. And right now, all you have to decide is where your TV is gonna go. There's multiple, multiple options. Most likely it'll be there where they've shown the mirror. And I like to walk to the back of the room just to show you the context and the size of the space. That's fantastic. We've got double doors there facing the back garden. And again, the doors are unfortunately locked so we won't be able to access the garden, but you can kind of peek through and see different um, glimpses of it. So coming from the formal lounge, we're now in the dining area. So this dining area has been open plan with the kitchen and I love how it flows through the home. There is a circular flow through the house. They've also got double doors there, which I'll say, Brian, if you just take a peek at the garden through those doors. So those double doors open up, making the dining flow beautifully into your garden. Again, the garden, you know, it depends on you, how you landscape it. Right now it's just staged with extra oomph. So this is the kitchen area. You've got this beautiful kind of quartz effect worktop and uh, maybe by a brand called Salstone. I'm not entirely sure. Read the description for all the details. We've got this shaker style cabinetry in a cream color and it pairs really nicely with the worktop. We've got a back painted glass splashback there as well. Extract fan, large five ring burner by AEG integrated appliances next to your fridge and freezer and these gorgeous chrome handles i love the fact that there's so much light flow in the whole space they've got these glass doors throughout so as you kind of close the spaces off you still have that flow between the space bringing in lots of light so let's keep moving throughout the floor plan a final door is this one and i believe this is going to be a store cupboard so that's under the stair there's a storage cupboard there, which is fantastic, maximizing the space under the stair. And then I said final, but this is the real final. This is our downstairs toilet, a powder room, very, very spacious. It's been kind of upgraded to be like a semi laundry area. So it's got its own sink. You've got your integrators and you see appliance there and that beautiful worktop again. And I like that idea actually to combine the two spaces together. It's a semi small utility slash downstairs toilet. I love it. So let's go to the rest of the floor plan. Let's go upstairs. So take the staircase up. You've got white high gloss painted balustrading, wooden balustrading. And now we are on the first floor. Okay, so let's go into the first room, which is this room, a beautiful double bedroom, which in my it's going to be so it's a king size bed in this room i love it with two bedside tables proportions are fantastic we've got our wardrobe space there 
on the left a window face in the back garden over there a little nook here and a space there for a dresser and your ensuite leading off this room has a fantastic shower over there behind me it's really spacious we've got our sink and toilet by Twyford and then a little bit of a shelf which I love for displaying different toiletries windows facing the back garden fantastic let's keep moving we've got a little door here so that is where your hot water cylinder and I believe they've probably put it in here just kind of add a bit of like extra wardrobe space or closet that's where your Christmas decorations could live so coming through again the next room here is the family bathroom it's a three-piece suite family bathroom also benefits from a window facing the side of the property I love that it's fully tiled read the description if that's an extra or not but let's keep it moving to the rest of the house so this is a single bedroom but again most people probably put a double here a double against the wall with one bedside table a window facing the front of the property and then hey guys this whole window opens the whole pane opens up which is <laughs> going to be great for ventilation light flooding through there wardrobe obviously against that wall and then let's go back on the landing follow me we've got my favorite a window in the landing which means that when all the doors are closed if all the rooms are occupied you still have lots of light flooding into this space right let's go next room is another fabulous double bedroom with a king size you can just see the proportion and how much furniture you can fit in here a large king size large headboard two large bedside tables a humongous window <laughs> facing the front of the property and then you've got wardrobe space here fully fitted into there again that's fantastic and then let's check the final room on this floor which is this gorgeous gorgeous principal bedroom this principal bedroom faces the rear garden got your window tick you've got a humongous bed here and which you can upgrade to a super king because there's still ample space and maneuvering space walking around you've got these doors and I'm going to show you what's in each one the first one is a kind of a separated closet so that's that one the second one through these double doors are here as you can see and it all flows together so I said separated closet but it's actually not I think the intention is that you can make it a separate closet if you want it to be so it's up to you probably to speak to the developer whether you want the TV to go on that wall there is a TV point there but you can obviously move it depending on what you prefer and then the ensuite to the um, primary room is this one fully tiled in this very simple classic um, kind of cream off-white tile you've got your window face in the back garden toilet sink and shower in the corner and a chrome towel rail so with that being said guys um oh <laughs> property vlogs first guys we're closing before we've closed there is also a fully enclosed closet to this primary bedroom an additional bonus so you've got this kind of a opportunity to do a bit of a his and a hers approach if you prefer so with that being said let's just kind of wrap everything up together if you liked what you saw give this video a like if you want if you saw something that we missed actually comment it down below and we'll read it and reply and then most of all subscribe so that we see you in the next video coming right up and one of the videos should pop up for a suggestion click it and i'll see you in the, that video all right bye